guys so we're gonna be talking about more artist problems today I'm gonna be honest I don't know how salty I'm gonna get in this video just because I'm feeling very relaxed right now so you know we're gonna hope it's gonna remain like this the entire time but um I found this list of uh, more artist problems that I wrote down a couple months ago so I might as well just read them out to you and we'll talk about them a little bit so uh, the first one I wrote down right here is Design my tattoos, which I've gotten a lot of, uh, not recently, but just throughout my life of being an artist. And I'm pretty sure some of you guys have had to go through this too, because I know, because I've read some of your stuff. And um, when people find out you draw, they will tell you to be a tattoo artist sometimes, usually, maybe. And then people will ask you to design their tattoos as if you were a tattoo artist, even though all you draw, or what, what do you draw, like anime girls? I don't know what you guys draw. But for me, I've only drawn like little demon boys. So for people to be like, can you design my tattoo? I'm like, do you want a boy on your arm with like pointy teeth? Because I'm pretty sure that's not what you want. A long time ago when I was like 14, my older sister like messaged me for the first time in years being like hey you draw design a butterfly tattoo for me and I was like uh <laughs> I'm 14 but okay <laughs> um and I it didn't work out obviously but uh because of these things but yeah why would you ask a kid and also I'm not good and also please don't if the artist is taking interest in it and whatever then yeah maybe but for me, and for many artists out there who are, um, as, like, un not uncomfortable, but not as, hmm, I, I just, I don't know how I would feel about my art permanently being on somebody's body. <laughs> so, um, second artist problems usually have to do when you have, like, physical art supplies, which is, when you're like in class or work or whatever and people need to borrow a pen or something and they just grab your expensive like lining <laughs> line work pen or people want to use your markers and they grab your copic markers and they don't know how to use them etc cetera, etc cetera. people using your expensive art supplies for just things that <laughs> It's not cool. I never use Copic markers, so I can't relate to that one. But for pens, I would buy like pens specifically for lining my work. And uh, those pens, for four pens, it would be like $20 or more than that. And people would grab it to write like their homework. And I'm like, can you just grab a normal pen? And they're like, well, this one works really nice. I'm like, yeah, because it's not made for writing. It's made for drawing. Please give it back. It's expensive. I don't have a job yet. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I got passionate with that one because I was going back to high school, Leslie, who uh, had those pens and no job and, uh, oh God, tough times. But yeah, people just grabbing your expensive expensive tools because uh whew. by the way let's let's get to uh the third problem which has to do with why is why are art supplies so expensive but then again you could say that about pretty much anything right like any hobby that you are into will be expensive if you're into like fishing it's probably expensive don't text me when i'm working okay but anyways um <laughs> where was i going with this uh but yeah art so like Anything is any kind of hobby is expensive. Uh, so I'm pretty sure you can make a video on like fishing problems and sewing problems and, and sports problems, but this is an art video. So art supplies, super expensive. How much is a Copic marker? Isn't a marker like $8 or $10 for one marker? I forgot, but God, that's so expensive. And then the ink runs out and you have to buy the little ink cartridges or whatever. My God, the good. I mean, I wanted to use those markers for so long and I mean, I don't know if I can get into it now. It's expensive. And then it's like, it depends because that's a lot of more traditional, uh, traditional art supplies. Uh, digital art supplies are also kind of expensive, but the thing is you don't have to keep like replacing them. So if you buy a tablet, my tablet is, was, how much was my tablet? Like 120 or something like that? Um, maybe not even. And that's kind of pricey, but it works for a long time depending on how where you, how well you take care of it. So I don't have to like buy a new one every couple of months, you know? Um, and digital art programs, a lot of them are, there's a lot of really good free ones, so you don't even have to pay for that. Um, unless you're like me and you want to try something that's like 
legit and then you pay for it but even the thing clip studio paint that i'm using it was on sale when it got it so it's like 25 dollars or 50 dollars i was like wow so even then um the tablet that i want to get is a thousand five hundred which is to me that's pretty pricey <laughs> i don't know about you guys but i can't like i mean you know and <laughs> but even if i did get that i wouldn't have to get a new one for hopefully a long time so but yeah i mean everything money and if you don't have a job because you're younger which a lot of you guys that watch me are younger um early like 13 12 uh early teens um you probably don't have a job probably i'm assuming so you have to ask your parents for money and parents depending on how supportive or how much money they have you know yeah it's, it's a little tough to get your hands on certain things but remember guys remember what i said in a video a while ago i forgot which video but the tool doesn't make the artist. Didn't I? I said I said something like that, right? I'm pretty sure I did. So it's okay if you have to use just just the cheapest pencil and cheapest pens. You know, do what you love to do. You got it. I believe in you. I had to do it. Ah. Uh... <laughs> the fourth problem. I think it's the fourth one. It's been a while that I want to talk about. It's not actually a problem. It's more just like an embarrassing thing that happens to me and many 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 of you guys i'm sure but it's when your parents and possibly your friends but mostly your parents show off your art to the rest of the family or their co-workers or their friends etc etc and again i don't want to be like oh god what a bother of people showing me off oh my gosh what a horrible life i live like that's not what i'm trying to get at but you see i am a very shy awkward person i don't like getting attention i i not at least not in person it makes me really uncomfortable and i just i rather just be ignored forever when i would go to like family gatherings i would usually bring my sketchbook because you know who am i gonna talk to right i'd rather just draw and then my mom would be like hey leslie show them your art i just told them that you like to draw uh bring over your sketchbook let's see and i'm like can you not for a second please i don't want you guys to see what's in here and like i mean i've never drawn anything bad you know or not bad but like uh, risque or anything but i still didn't want people to see my little like what did i draw like little demon boys with the horns on their head <laughs> and little fairies like i don't want people to see that please just leave me alone and my mom she whenever i finish a like a digital picture uh that's all i draw honestly but anytime i finish one she asks she will ask me to send it to her and I will, and she'll save it on her phone. And it's really nice for my mom to have my art on her phone. I really like it now, after, like, years of her doing it. Uh, but then she'll tell me that she shows co-workers and stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's nice, I guess. But, okay. It's just, I, I don't know. And I know a lot of you guys, because you guys have told me this, where people are taking your art and showing it to other people. They're like, look at what she did, what he did, whatever. And then you're like, oh, no. <laughs> don't do that <laughs> i think a lot of artists are very uh we're all very anxious i don't know a lot most artists that i know are like this and not everyone i don't want to generalize or anything but seriously it's 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 nice you know it's a nice gesture but also i'm just i'm just very quiet don't look at me please Something else I want to talk about, I did talk about this in my first video, but I just kind of want to continue it just for a little bit, is when, okay, you know how when people find out you draw, so they're immediately like, draw me, or draw this, or whatever, draw, but it's usually draw me. Okay, usually, like now, because I've been alive for God knows how long, uh, I will say no, because I'm just not about that life anymore. <laughs> but as a kid, I had a much harder time saying no and so i would end up drawing them and a lot of the times after you put in so much work and effort into drawing them and you give them the picture they're like this doesn't look like me and then you're like you know what how about you do it then how about you draw yourself no okay take it then i have heard or i have heard i have read comments where you guys say that this happens to you and it's a it's a bummer <laughs> it's a oh <laughs> getting a little emotional here but i've had that happen it's like embarrassing when i would do this in, in elementary where they would say it doesn't even look like me i would get like so embarrassed because i'm like i put effort and i tried my best and it's not up to your standards this was free work by the way i did this for free 
You're welcome. Say thank you instead of, hey, this isn't what I was hoping for. Screw you. I'm, I'm trying. I got to move on to the next topic. I'm about to curse. Um, let's see. Here is another problem. I don't know how often this one happens, but it's happened to me a couple of times. Um, I feel like it happens more often online. And, uh, but it has happened to me in person, which is when somebody sees your drawing and then they say, I know somebody who draws better than you. First of all, you. Second of all, <laughs> why would you ever say that to anybody? Do you? Are you heartless? Are you? I'm assuming maybe they're jealous or something but i've had people like in person look at my art and they're like i know somebody who draws better than you i had one guy in high school i liked this guy by the way he was i had a, the biggest crush on him and he looked at my art and he looked at the, the the art at the girl sitting next to me and he was like that girl draws better than you first of all guy that i used to like the reason why she drew better was because she used bases i i saw her art she would put the paper on the computer screen, trace the base, and then just draw the hair and clothing over it. So therefore, I mean, maybe if she draws hair better than me, fine, but the anatomy is not hers. And uh, my anatomy sucks, and I agree, but I le at least I try my best from scratch. Um, second, or what is it? Third of all? Second of all? Uh, I forgot, but I don't like him anymore. <laughs> that was many years ago, but I remember that really, really hurt my feelings and it made me so mad. Because, uh, yeah, just don't tell that to an artist. And again, I see it happen more often online where it's like, you don't even draw that great. Uh, why do people commission you? I, this artist draws better than you. This artist is younger than you. This artist, blah, blah, blah. Um, do me a favor. Stop being an a-hole. Be a good person. People have feelings. Did you know that? People have, yeah, artists are people and they have feelings. Please be nice. The last thing I want to talk about, I'm hoping, yeah, I don't think I talked about this in my first one, right? Is people not wanting to pay for your work. There are a lot of artists online who are taking commissions for many reasons. Either, even if it's just for money to spend on stuff like, I don't know, merch or something. That's fine. But a lot of artists also use commissions to pay for, you know, bills, you know, their rent, their food, their... <laughs> they're just their their ways of living and people don't want to pay for art because they think it's easy that it's not you know it's not worth paying for which is weird because if it's so easy and not being it's not worth being paid for then why don't you do it yourself instead of trying to find somebody else to do it for you you know why you're looking for somebody else to do it for you because it's a service and you know what you do for services you pay for services it's not a free thing okay it's time for you to stop expecting artists to work for you for free because art is very hard and very time consuming and um art's not even fun <laughs> i'm kidding i love art but um yeah there's i mean the, it's just such a big deal for it's, it's like so common you know i follow what's what's that one twitter <laughs> some twitter account that's like what is it like art for promotion or, or something like that i forgot no i think it's called like art for draw for exposure art for exposure something like that because a lot of people will uh say that i can't afford to pay you but i will promote you on my twitter to my 50 followers like no, that's not how it works. We don't need your exposure, your promotion. That's not, it's not, it's not gonna pay my bills. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so, uh, it's just such a big thing though. Like it's so common, it's so sad. And, and people saying your, your commission prices are too high or your art's not worth paying for. You, you know, you, there's better artists with lower prices. There's better artists who do requests. Then go talk to those artists then instead of trying to put another artist down for trying to make a living. Okay? Art is not just a hobby. It is a hobby, but it's not just a hobby. There's some people who want to make it their job and the fact that you're not willing to pay for it, you know, it's just not going to work out. And um, yeah, instead of being an a-hole, just leave. Nobody needs your stupid opinions. But again, I guess that could be said about everyone. You guys could say that about my opinions. That's fine. You don't have to agree with me. But uh, just speaking as an artist, it's just really uncool. So I'm going to just stop right there because I think that last one I could talk about for a much longer time. But I don't want to make this video too long. So 
thank you so much for watching and for supporting and i'm pretty sure somebody's in front of my door as usual when i record because why not right um please have a good week and please be good very good outlets i well, hope to see you next week, probably. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye!